Okay. Uh, I'm li- I'm live. actually Click. already live. Yeah. Let me. Um... Oh, where's Skype gone? There it is. So it won't end my call with you if I call her, will it? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> no. I think she has to call you, or you can add her to the call. Okay, I'll get her to call me. Yeah, I oh, think yeah, you can add, add her, her to, to the, the call. call. Get her to call me. Call. Cool. I'll just message her now and get her to do that. Debs, if you're watching, she's uh, Skype. Uh, so for those that are uh, joining, we're, uh, let's see, this is uh, 2.30 Sunday afternoon. It is uh, March the 3rd, 2019, and we're just having a vegan discussion or a zero cholesterol discussion. And we have the fabulous Sue Verhoeven from London. Hello. And uh, maybe have uh, another guest here uh, tonight. So if you're with us, welcome. And um, we'd like to hear your stories. If you are working a whole food plant-based diet, if you're using the menus that uh, we've provided this last week, I'd like some feedback on that. Uh, if you have any special news about your progress, we would love to hear it and share it with everyone. So uh, this is kind of an open forum on uh, Sunday afternoons. We don't have a, a, a set schedule of things that we uh, need to do or want to cover. Uh, so we're just here for you. And I uh, hope that your weekend is going well and that March has, uh, what do they say, in like a lamb, out like a lion or something like that? Something uh, like no. that. But uh, yesterday was just beautiful. Uh, Abby and I went fishing. We got the boat out and uh, we went into a new area and explored and loved it and uh, caught some redfish and um, just had a great time. Uh, we found a new marina, a new place to leave the boat so we don't have to worry about uh, retrailering and hauling and all of that. So that's going to be nice for us because that's kind of been a little bit tricky and challenging in the past. So we got to enjoy a beautiful day and then overnight in came a cold front and it's dropped down to where I'm a little bit concerned we might actually encounter some freezing weather tonight. Um, I planted uh, my tomatoes the other day so I want to be sure that they survive. So I may be out later with a piece of plastic stapling them and stapling it down or using pit, uh, pieces of uh, boards or something to kind of cover the tomato plants to keep them a little bit warmer. Usually it doesn't take much to protect them because we don't, it's too late in the season to really get a hard frost, but we may get, we may just get right at 32. If it's 35, that's fine. They'll do, they'll do just, just fine. No problem. Excellent. Excellent. So you have, you, have you actually planted or are you still uh, just working on your planters? Me well, uh, Wink actually finished the cold frame for it today in the okay. rain, and I got my vegetable patch already. All I need to do is get some bird netting, but I've been told that that's all in hand yeah. as it's my birthday on Wednesday, so I can't go out and buy anything and interfere right. with that. So yeah, yeah, almost ready. I've got some seeds, and uh, I've got I've always had loads of seeds, but um, I've never planted them because I always leave it too late and have to buy plants. <laughs> yeah, so I actually prefer to get the plants. Uh, the DW, she likes to start with the seeds, but I like to go ahead and start with the plants. Uh, just seems like you get an earlier start on the season. And yeah. so the ones that I've planted, they're uh, they're about that tall. But I'd like to, I don't know if there's bug netting. Can you get bug netting to keep the bugs off of it? I mean, not really. I I had aphids last year, and uh, they were it seemed like they were everywhere. And I got some natural aphid, um, you know, kind of stuff. I don't want to use the word poison, but it was just all the natural. Um, yeah. And it seemed to keep them away for a little while. Then one day, this swarm of ladybugs showed up, and then they were gone the next day, yeah. and not an aphid left. Yeah. I mean, they ate every one of them. Yeah. And you, every egg. You want to you want to plant flowers nearby that that ladybugs like and also if you plant mm. french marigolds they mm-hmm. don't like the smell of them so it keeps them off mm-hmm. you kind of plant it with them because it's yeah but yeah they they can be a nuisance my mm, netting definitely. keeps the birds out because they just mm-hmm. eat everything let me just say so, hi to some people um hi robin hi seeker hi chrissy hi mad hi cor hi jackie mm. Uh, waiting for Debs, 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 Debs. I don't know if I should. I just try ringing her and see if it cuts us off. Do you, do you think it will cut us off as I rang you? I don't know what happened. How we did it before. Um. Well, hello, Patsy from Arkansas, my old home.
No, that cut you off. Are you still there, Jack? I got it. Hello. Well, I think you need to ring me, Debs, because I've just cut Jack off. Oh. Okay. 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 I'll call you right back. Okay, hang on. Let me get Jack back. Jack, I've lost you because I'm an idiot with this. I can't actually hang up from you, Debbie, for some reason. Are you off, Debs? No, nope, I'm going right now. Hang on, let me just get you off. De Jack. Call started. Resume call. Congratulations on the five pounds, Rita, and your cholesterol has dropped. That's wonderful news. If you eat a whole food plant-based diet, it's very difficult, not impossible, but very difficult to have elevated cholesterol. And um, because you have to remember, all cholesterol comes from animals. So cholesterol does not come from plants. It doesn't come from trees or, or nuts or seeds or, or grains of any kind. Cholesterol is strictly found in animals. So you do not get cholesterol. So if you don't put the cholesterol in your body, in your body okay, then you are probably you not going to have a cholesterol problem. Debs, I've got you on the call now. Hang on. Sorry, sorry, Jack. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I was just... Uh, I can't get the camera on. Okay. Okay. We can all hear you, Debs. Yeah, I can hear you, but for some reason, it's not letting me camera. Okay. All right. I guess we'll just have to go that way. Well, um, we're hearing her... her um, yeah, you need to turn your volume down on YouTube. Oh, hang on. Yeah, we, that'll just feed oh. back. Yeah. There go. Okay. There Robin, we are. we are doing a back video tonight after this. Um, hi, Rita. Hi, Wonder Woman. Hi, Teddy, sweetheart. You did have some trouble getting bananas at some point earlier this this winter, didn't you, Sue? Yeah, weren't there you all weren't have, any. They were just no, running in the our, shop. That was our friends in New Zealand that were having trouble with bananas. I remember somebody had a banana shortage. Maybe it was New Zealand. I have, I have absolutely no idea Yeah, that uh, was earlier. why that was. But our supermarket's been quite badly stocked um, for lots of things, but I have the best avocados I've actually had for ages. <laughs> Which is really Robin nice. is saying she likes the menu too, and that's wonderful. I'm getting a lot of good feedback from people saying it just gives them a good guideline, kind of a skeleton, and uh, you can you can hang from it other things that you want. But if you want to be sure that you're getting everything you need, if you get everything that's on the menu and you want to add more, that's perfectly okay. Um, I, I saw Lisa at uh, at church this morning and uh, gave her her copy because she she missed a line the the other day okay uh and she just said that that uh the vegan menu number one was extremely helpful to her because she she just liked knowing it just gave her that that guideline to, to know exactly what to eat and i said hey if that's what you want to do with it that's perfectly fine um you know so good well i'm i'm glad that that is you guys are finding that helpful and of course at any point if you want to see a particular item worked in send me an email and i'll try to work it into the next menu and um We'll try to get your favorites on board if you like. Uh, mm -hmm. If you don't have my email address, I try to put it on all my uh, stuff, but I'll throw it on here right now. Feel free to email me, johngilmerd at <coughs> mac.com. You sent it to me via Dropbox, which I can't seem to get access to. You, you all you do is click it. Google Drive, didn't you, or something like that? Yeah, you just <laughs> click. You just, Continue. you know, it's Dropbox. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just I've click got it. it. I've got it. Yeah. yeah. Cool. It makes it that it. way. I can put it up once and everybody can download it from the same place. Brilliant. Okay, That's really guys, good. Guys, I'm on, I'm on with voice, but uh, for some reason I can't get the video to accept. Yeah, you have to click the video. There's a little video button you have to click yeah, on Skype. Yeah, I did. Okay. I did. Not working. I didn't uh, do it. So, uh, oh, wait. Did that help? Nope. Nope. No. Anyway, I'm okay doing it by voice. Is that okay? Is that can everyone hear Debbie? Can you let me know if you can hear Debbie? Can you guys I hear, hear me? I hear her. Yeah. I hear her. Okay. Well, um, Jack, did you get my message about my blood results this time? I did. They look pretty good. They do yeah. look very good. I was very pleased that um, my cholesterol was down. My ratio was more in line with what you wanted. Um, 
my vitamin D level was um, borderline low, but yeah, um, I saw that. More, but um, we're gonna we're gonna step up even more mushrooms. Uh, we've been eating a lot of those, um, but everything else looked really good. Um, of course, my thyroid was a, was way off, so we're addressing that. Um, but um, I was down seven pounds at the doctor's office, so I was pleased with that too. Yeah, and Excellent. then a um, couple of things that um, I talked about with uh, with my doctor was um, that uh, I have not had to take as many of my stimulants for the narcolepsy since I've been taking the Meta Seven. Um, Good. I'm on pretty high doses, but um, I can usually get by with three most days. Sometimes I have to go with that fourth dose. So that's a huge plus um, that he, he liked. Um, that wasn't my sleep doctor. That was my GP. Um, like I told him, we're like 90, 95, 98% vegan at this point. So um, he just said, keep up the good work. Yay. And, um, yeah. So um, told him about the... Um, you know, told him again about the Meta 7 and told him to go ahead and check it out. And um, we had a little conversation about Lee, and Lee is down 12 pounds. Wow. Since we started That's going great. again with the Meta 7. High five. So, yeah, yeah. That's so good. That's good. Very pleased where we're at. You know, I don't think you sent me your thyroid uh, lab. Did you send three labs or two? Because I only had two that I came had through. had three. Maybe I okay. did, but I'll send that one to you. It was yeah, um, it, it was the pretty only high. thing that I, I saw like that was time. abnormal on your labs was that your your vitamin D level was twenty seven, uh, which was just slightly low. Right. Uh, um, and I think as you continue to, to to add more mushrooms in, you'll see that go up, and you'll notice the uh, the effect. Your your uh, your sense of well being will improve, and your right. your ability to concentrate uh, should improve with that as well. Those are known effects of having um vitamin d levels that are in in a good place right yeah and by the way your goal really shouldn't be 30 i know that uh the laboratories most of them use 30 as a, a low range uh, cutoff but uh a real we really recommend 40 and i think most people uh that research vitamin d will tell you that uh, 40 should be your bottom goal um so anyway keep that in mind as you as you okay. progress okay so um, we talk, we're talking about that, and um, we wanted to go ahead and share that with everybody else. And um, we we uh, promote the Meta 7 as much as we can because that has really made a huge difference. Wonderful. Well, I'm glad that's helping you so much. Yeah. Yeah. I've got, um, I've got three of the girls on it now. So we gave um, a bottle to... Uh, to our oldest daughter, and we gave another bottle to our other two daughters. The one that had this, um, this has the stomach trouble, so um, they're both going to start taking up too. So, and when the oldest daughter took hers, she said she noticed an immediate improvement in her mental concentration because she actually has the narcolepsy worse than I do. Oh uh, wow! Yeah. Yeah, some people notice it right away. Some people, it takes a, a little while. It took me 13 days before I noticed it. Um, yeah. my, my darling wife noticed it about me first before I noticed it. She said, you don't realize this. You're just you're staying out and you're you're doing things even later than you, you had been before. And mm -hmm. I said, you know what? You're right. I, I just didn't. It came on so gradually for me that I didn't recognize it. I've had people take it for a month and not think it was helping them. And then when they take the last one, all of a sudden they feel like, ugh, I felt yeah. great before. I just didn't know. And then, yeah. you know, call me up and say, can you meet us? We, you know, we need a couple more bottles and, and, uh, we won't make this mistake again. So, right. yeah. So, I mean, everybody's, everybody's effect is a little bit different as to, uh, how quickly, uh, they seem to notice the difference with it, but uh, almost everybody does notice a significant improvement in their energy and their focus and uh, so forth with uh, with Meta 7. Yeah. Right. right. Wink, Wink kind of noticed, well, I've noticed it because Wink stopped taking it. He falls asleep in front of the telly. Every time we try and watch something, he falls asleep. 
So I've I've given him strict instructions that he has to, you know, take them because it was like nine o'clock and we were like, oh, it's really early, half eight. Yeah, we can watch some TV. Excellent. And he was like, I sleep within ten minutes. <laughs> so yeah, definitely. No more sleeping husband on the sofa. That's what Meta Seven uh, did for Wink and lots of energy too. Great. Yeah, so wanted to let you guys know that, and um, I'm here in Branson at a quilt retreat, and so I am going to say um, have a great afternoon, everybody, and evening, and I am going to get back to my sewing. Okay. Well, have a good time. Have a All fabulous right. time. Lots of love to you, sweetheart. Have a great Lots time. Love to you. Thanks for okay. coming on. You're welcome. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay. Bye. 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 So I think she'll just, yeah, and she's gone. And she's gone. Sorry we couldn't get her lovely face, but um, sometimes those buttons won't press when you open them. Um, I know that from personal experience. Um, Jackie, I'll message you with the cost of Meta 7 for you, because I know you're in the UK. After I double and started seeing results in week. Right, Chrissy's saying she's been on Coco Skin Plus for seven weeks. After I doubled up on it, I started seeing results in week five. And that's why with the new with the new Coco Skin Plus, you won't need to double up because yeah. we've already we fixed that. So yeah. that's that's exciting news. Um, good, wonderful. I'm on my first week of it. Yeah. Oh yeah, you just got yours last week. That's yeah, right. Yeah, that's right. And even Wink's taking it, which is great. So I had somebody, unfortunately, it's a gazillion messages down. Um, I hope she's going to come on tonight. She's starting her vegan journey today. And she sent me a message saying, my vegan journey is starting tomorrow. How much ice cream can I eat tonight? And I just sent her a message back saying, all of it. <laughs> eat it all, then yeah. it's gone. Get rid of it. Yeah, get rid of it. Oh, Chrissy's hair is thickening. Oh, good. I'm looking forward to, well, Wink will be looking forward to that with him because he, he used to have really, really long, thick hair and it's not as long or thick anymore. Um, fantastic. So has anyone got any questions that you want to ask? Any Anything that you're finding? Any new benefits? Uh, because some of you have been on this journey for quite a while now. Uh, let us know. Let us know. Um... Chrissy, no worries. Life does. Chrissy's just saying she couldn't get back to me last weekend. That's absolutely fine. I know everyone has busy lives, but the messages are there for when you can get to them, and I'm absolutely the same on that. Um, so, if you miss, if you miss, you can always watch and catch up. Um, yeah. I, we're getting people now that are saying, "Well, you're talking about stuff that I missed." Well, go back a few, you know, a, a few videos and watch, and um, you know, catch up and. And uh, because you don't want to get left left behind on some of this information that we're talking about, because a lot of it is spontaneous. A lot of it is we're answering questions. And, um, you know, we try once a week on on the Thursdays. You know, I'm trying to prepare something interesting uh, that has to do with a whole food plant based lifestyle um, to give you motivation and also more information about it. But um, also, um you know, uh, we're working with menus and uh, helping people know what to eat uh, to be sure that you're getting all the nutrients that you that you should be getting, so you can satisfy that question for all your relatives and your friends and your doctors to make sure where where are you getting your protein. We we need to know where you're getting your protein. Yeah. Now you can show them that you're getting uh, an excellent amount of protein, uh, plant based and, uh, and then they don't have to worry about you. And then also if they want to jump in with you, you can actually show them exactly what to eat if they want to join along. Now, how long we'll do those menus? I don't know. As long as they're helpful and useful, we'll probably continue to do them. But, um, the menus themselves are designed to, uh, to, to basically just to ensure that you have, you know that you that you if you follow it that you do get what you need, but that you that you have something that you can use as a guideline. Um, yeah. It's not absolutely critical that you follow that. You can make substitutions. Um, you know, uh, well, you're you you're have... really going to have a hard time getting in trouble with your with what you eat if you if you're eating a varied 
diet with lots of different fruits and vegetables. Yeah. It's very difficult to go wrong, okay? So take a deep breath and, and, and just know that you're going to be okay, all right? Just, you, don't, you don't have to have that cheeseburger to live. It's just not necessary, yeah. okay? So you don't have to eat chicken. It's not as healthy as you think it is, and, and we're presenting lots of evidence to show that the more animal products you consume, the sicker you're likely to be or the more increased risk you have of being sick, okay? We are, yeah. we are able, we're proving uh, not just with the literature and not just with the science, but we're, we're proving people person by person that we can eliminate type 2 diabetes in many, many people. We're showing that you can correct a lot of um, metabolic problems, cholesterol problems, lipid problems. We're reversing heart disease, preventing heart disease. We're we're eliminating obesity. If people are losing weight and they're feeling better, and so we're not just saying it. We're we're putting the data up to prove it, and we're inviting people to come in with us that are actually doing this and participating along with us to to share their stories and to share things like their labs like uh like Debs did um and 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 to prove that it does work and mm. uh that that indeed uh the vast majority of chronic medical problems that we're dealing with in in clinics and in, in western countries in general are being caused by what we're what we're choosing to eat and so we want to be sure that you understand that you do have a choice and that you can choose a healthy a healthy path and uh, by going a whole food plant based zero cholesterol uh, way of eating lifestyle that you can expect that you'll have a reduced risk of coronary atherosclerosis, a reduced risk of things like muscular um, multiple sclerosis, excuse me, um, you know, less chance of uh, rheumatoid arthritis, reduced chance of lupus, a reduced chance of uh, type 2 diabetes. In fact, we can we can almost guarantee you won't, won't get type 2 di diabetes. Yeah. Um, uh, and, um, you know, these other diseases, inflammatory problems are going to be lessened. So autoimmune stuff goes away. Um, my asthma just went away. I had asthma. I was using two inhalers. Gone. And uh, that, that happened after about six to eight weeks of, of making the conversion over to whole food plant-based eating. Um, the, the excess weight just fell off me. My wife is still complaining that I'm too thin. So, you know, and, and, it's, and it's staying off. It's not just that now I'm working hard because the weight's coming back on or anything. It's I'm sitting right at 185 mm -hmm. to 187 pounds. That's yeah. that's where I that's where I ended up. I may even drop a few more pounds. Who knows? But I'm certainly not having to work hard or do anything different whatsoever to prevent myself from gaining the weight. I got into a routine. I I do intermittent fasting, but you you can or you don't have to if you don't want to, but you can. But I do intermittent fasting for additional health reasons. But I also maintain a whole food plant-based diet to the best of my ability. Now, I'm always vegan. Sometimes I do let a little processed vegan stuff get into the diet. But that's that's the exception rather than the rule. Yeah. You're, you're really good. You, I mean, I know when I was staying with you in Texas, I noticed that you're you're really disciplined and you've really you know you've really got it all sorted i still do eat way too much processed vegan food um but then at least i can get my family to eat it um if i add a little meat substitute and stuff like that um sometimes you want some convenience but i, I you know that nah, i'm basically getting all of that out and uh, making stuff so um totally agree with you there um, and we had um, Bev was type 2, um, Beverly was type 2 diabetic for, for four years and is now cured of that. So that's, you know, the results that we're actually getting on this channel completely edify what we've been saying. I mean, you're an example of that, um, uh, certainly. And I and what um, what did uh, Deborah, Deborah Barlow said? Um, she, she has um, more confidence than ever before. I think that's what she said. Hi, da, 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 da. I'm pretty sure it was you. Was it you? Um, that she she just felt more confident within herself, and that's because um, I keep going on about this. But your gut will be working so much 
better and your head will be filled with dopamine and when you feel happy you feel in a more confident place um, you know and you're also by taking control of your health that gives you such a kick taking control of your own health um, you know and that you know when you're when you're good at something that kind of spreads over everything else um, so I'm I'm not surprised to see that you're more confident and I can see it flying off your Facebook page babes um, I wanted to say hi to Cal um, hi to Elizabeth hi to uh, da, 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 da. where has it gone gosh that it's gone off anyway they're saying the menus really helpful they find Good. giving them a guideline um, a couple of them have said that um, if, I, if I haven't said hello to somebody apologies I know you've got a black icon but I can't find it um, and yeah and it was it was Mary Knox who ate all the ice cream last night because she's you know she's been following and um, you know she's she's on it now that's it so I'll be that's your day one and I, we've had so many results just in kind of like 11 weeks um, and I think Chrissy said uh, something oh, that was to do with meta seven um, so and Elena asks uh, what we think of vegan spring rolls um, I, think, I think they're probably great yeah I yeah. think it's I think a lot of it uh, if it's a spring roll that they're they're deep frying of course you'd probably want to avoid that but I think you can do uh, like an air fry spring roll which would be fantastic, especially yeah. if they do that super thin rice paper yeah. is just amazing uh, for making spring rolls uh, from. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's called, is it phyllo? It's like, like phyllo pastry. It's like so thin. Um, yeah, it was Deborah Barlow. She said she's very picky on what she eats now. Um and now she has new self-confidence like I've never had. So this isn't just a return to confidence. This is confidence that you didn't have. And you see, I, I mean, I, when I get Greg on this channel, um, he's away. That's why he's in Mauritius or something, probably doing some plant-based thing somewhere. Um, but he suffered from anxiety. Like he was on eight different meds from, from a 10-year-old, like absolute terrible anxiety and depression um, you would never believe it today you would literally never believe it so I'm not saying that that's what you had um, Deborah but the fact that you've got confidence like you never had before who would like confidence like they've never had before you know it, when you're confident within your own body within your own head you can just do anything you know you, you really that you have this invincible feeling and it's 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 so, such a nice place to be. Um, so that's you know fantastic, um, isn't it? Cor, Cor left a message. Uh, she just put up a message. She said, left comments after last meeting about olive oil, and it is unprocessed if cold-pressed. Good to know. But l let me ask you a question. Why is that? Then what makes any oil processed? Hmm. Why? Why are oils? Why are vegetable oils processed? And why? Why do we think of them as processed? And why are we steering away from processed oils? It's the same reason why we have an obesity epidemic in in America and in Western countries because we're eating highly processed. We're eating compressed calories, so you have to eat more of it to get that satiety. So if you eat olives, you're less likely to get too many calories. And if you eat olive oil that is, whether it's cold-pressed, hard-pressed, heat-pressed, whatever, what you're doing is, is you're concentrating calories into an oil. And then you're adding calories in that you just simply don't need. You know, from, an, from a standpoint of... of eating things that are healthy and them still being healthy, we don't want to squeeze the oils out of a vegetable or a plant and then drink that or add it back in someplace else. We want to just eat the whole pro eat the whole olive 
And that's yeah. where that comes from. We we don't have a problem with soybean oil or soy oil, oil or safflower oil or any of these oils if they're still in the seed. Okay? Yeah. Coconut oil is not a problem if you're eating the coconut. And we're saying the same thing about olive oil. Olive oil is not a problem if you're eating the olives. Where it becomes a problem is is it is processed if it's if it's if it's pressed out uh, and then it's reutilized someplace else. Now, if you want to eat olive oil, then go right ahead. It's still vegan, all right? Yeah. We're just not recommending it. It's going to be more difficult. I mean, it's a lot of unnecessary calories. And that's that's mm. that's the that's the whole food plant based message right there. That and that's it. And and yeah. you go into the cupboard and you see these these big containers full of these oils. They're liquid at room temperature, or maybe they're they're semi liquid. Uh, they're supposed to be better for you if they're liquid at room temperature because they're more unsaturated. And all that's true. And those are better oils, but they're still oils, which means that they are super high calorie fatty products. And if you are pressing an olive to get the oil out of it, that's a form of processing. And then what you end up with is way too many calories per ounce or way too many calories per whatever unit. Uh, and it leads to this problem that we have with being overweight. Okay. And whether those oils are responsible for contributing to type 2 diabetes or not, we don't know. We know that the animal proteins and animal fats are, but we suspect that the processed oils might play a role in it as well. So we don't recommend the oils. So if you want to say, okay, it's cold pressed and so that makes it healthier, you may be right. Um, but if you want to say that cold pressing, in other words, just throwing oils in a vat and putting, you know, a, a heavy press on it till the oil squeeze out the side and, and say that that's not somehow processed because chemicals weren't added to it or because some other process didn't happen doesn't make it unprocessed. It's still not the original form. So if it's not the original form, it's processed. So th this doesn't have to be that complicated. And Cora, I'm not trying to pick on you. I just want you to, to see that that olive oil, this whole olive oil thing comes from this Mediterranean diet idea that olive oil is safe because in Mediterranean diets, people eat lots of these kinds of products that had, they ate olives. And so we've extrapolated from that, oh, olive oil must be healthy, so let's eat olive oil. So now we're, we're dousing our salads, we're turning perfectly good salads that may have 150 calories in them, and we're adding all this oil and vinegar, and we're adding another four or 500 calories or more, and all of a sudden we've taken a low-calorie, very nutritious dish, and we've turned it into a high-calorie dish, um, and so we're getting unnecessary calories. Uh, again, people that eat a whole food plant di uh, plant based diet and stick to that are much more likely to be thin and have normal body weights. I go to Subway now sometimes when I go with a group and I get their chopped veggie salad. Okay, and so they take a salad and they throw all their vegetables, including pickles and their banana peppers, and they chop it all up. And then they say, "Do you want salt and pepper?" And I say, no, I don't want salt on my salad. And what dressing do you want? And I tell them this. I want brown mustard. And they look at me like, what? Is it squirt brown mustard on it? And they put a little squirt and I said, no, a little bit more. And then they chop that brown mustard in there. And I'm telling you, I get more taste out of my salad that way mm -hmm. than if I would have put 300 calories, which is probably how much you get with a couple of good squirts of their oil and vinegar. It's simply unnecessary caloric intake. And, and it, it, this exemplifies the, one of the main problems with the Western diet, besides the fact that we're, that we're addicted to animal products in general, both the meat and the products that come mm -hmm. from the animals, the cheeses, the dairies, the eggs, all of that. So all of that should be eliminated first. And if that left you in a situation where you were eating a, a plant-based, but you were still eating the oils, I would say you're certainly going to be healthier than if you're consuming the animal products, mm -hmm. but you're, you're going to have a hard time keeping the weight off because you're going to be putting all those oils into things, and at the end of the month, you're going to say, 
well, why haven't I lost any weight? I'm still overweight. I wanted to drop some pounds. I expected to do this. Why have I not done it? Well, the answer could be those oils. Those mm. oils are just loaded with concentrated calories. Mm. And, and if you look at the foods that we put in our menu, um, those walnuts, walnuts are loaded with healthy oils. Yes, they're oils. But you look at the fat content and the calorie content, that's all coming from the oils in those walnuts. And look back on that uh, men, uh, menu number one that we did. You'll see it was an amazingly high number for calorie and for fat for such such a small amount of food. But imagine taking and pressing those well, walnuts. You can get some walnut oil out of there. Could you imagine how highly concentrated, how much you know per quarter cup of just the oil might be my goodness it could be a thousand calories in a quarter cup yeah. uh just an amazing <clears throat> amount of fat so yeah. then you say well is that still healthy and the answer is probably not it's probably not as healthy because you're probably getting too much of it so although those fats are certainly better than the more saturated fats that we see in animal products they're still not healthy in large amounts so yeah. what we want is we want the whole food, and we want the right amounts of the whole food. We don't want to eat, sit around and just eat walnuts and pistachios because then you're going to be getting a super high-fat diet. And yes, you can gain weight doing that, and you may be negatively influencing insulin resistance uh, so or insulin sensitivity causing more resistance. So make it a part of a whole food plant-based diet uh, and stay away from processed oils as much as you can. It might, does that mean once in a while you can't get a little bit? No, that's not what we're saying. Mm. We're saying is if you want to be as healthy as you can be, you'll avoid that as much as possible. So there we go. That, absolutely, that's brilliant. And yes, somebody mentioned you, you actually can't eat olives raw. They have to be cooked. So all olives are processed to, to a certain level. Uh, just to put that out there. Um, right, Elena is saying, what is a good fruit to help with strengthening the lungs? Um, she knows turmeric is good. And I'd look something up for you. Um, and basically, if you follow the, the, the menu ideas, you'll be, you'll be hitting that. So drink plenty of water. That's really good for your lungs. Apples, uh, because they have um, vitamin C, E, beta carotene, um, citrus fruits and apples and fruit juices. Uh, I wouldn't go for fruit juices though. But then you take apricots, um, and it's because they've got a high vitamin A content. And broccoli is highly antioxidant green vegetable. Um, I'm not sure. How do these help the lungs? Is it just because they're anti inflammatory? Is, um, is that what you're saying? This one is uh, broccoli is a highly antioxidant green vegetable with NRF2 dependent characteristics i don't know what that means that's why i didn't say it before but you may um, as a result um it is one of the best greens for lung health especially individuals with copd uh, walnuts because they have omega-3 um and they, well, then you could add flaxseed in there too yeah um and and, and that may help fight asthma uh, beans okay all beans all all, all, all legumes you call them berries are rich in antioxidants um as well okay so, so you've just listed out an entire whole food plant-based diet is basically what you've done yeah i mean that's yeah. basically what they're saying what they're saying is stop eating animal products and adopt a whole food plant-based diet yeah. and your lungs will get healthier and i'm and 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 i'm i'll give you a testimony to that i was on two inhalers every day just to be able to carry mm -hmm. on normal conversations with my patients and now I don't have to do that. Yeah. And that went away. I stopped using those inhalers about eight weeks after I made the transition. Okay, so if you want to reduce inflammation, then adopt a whole food plant-based diet first. And secondary, if you want to add something, turmeric is a good idea because it's really got some antioxidant properties and also omega-3 highly uh, rich flaxseed. Yeah, so, so there you go, Elena. I hope that's helpful. Um, a lot of you are talking about salad dressings i've got uh, the lovely chef alicia coming um in about three weeks time to do a live cooking demo and i'm going to get her to do some stuff that you can 
throw over your salads because soon it's going to be that salad weather where you just fancy salads and mm -hmm. and it's nice to have some some good dressings to go on them some some go-to dressings and also you know if you're cooking for other people there's nothing nicer than slamming down a vegan meal and then going wow that was really nice like we're eating some weird stuff off mars or something that they thought would just be horrendous so it's really nice to have something that's really tasty and i think some of the processed food alternatives um, are very useful when we go out to dinner with other people because if you ask for v fruits and vegetables, you're just going to be hungry. So, you know, sometimes it's good to know what you can eat um, if you're going to a restaurant or something like that so that you can join in and you're not the, the person at the end of the table with a bowl of apples or eating, a, a, you know, lettuce leaves. Um, so, yeah, there are lots of... I mean, a lot of people who are making the transition, it, it, it's, it's great that you're transitioning to vegan alternatives um, of things that, you know, in a past life we thought we couldn't do without. Or you may still be in that process of going, oh, but I really love ice cream. We have a cure for that. It's called nice cream. Frozen bananas, whiz them up with some other fruit that you like, you know, whatever. You, it's just delicious doesn't even taste like bananas. It just tastes like ice cream. Um, it really does. It, it's just incredible, isn't it? It's just yeah, like... It really does. Amazing. Um, Without the Krispy Kreme, yep. Yeah, also, um, re-lung health. Um, go have a look at my Sue's Medicine Drink, um, Amazing Medicine Drink uh, video. Just go and have a look at that because I, I put that up probably in January, I think. But you can easily see them because they've got titles on them, um, like pre-prepared titles with a photo of me holding whatever I'm cooking for you up. Um, because one of the herbs in there, and I can't remember which one it is, it, I think it's thyme, is is like, you know, has really amazing effects on, on the lungs, which is why it helps when you've got cold and flu symptoms. Um, and there were some more cress questions. Uh... The rocker. We try to be a vegetarian, eighty percent. Unfortunately, we've been raised in central Italy, and the excellent food can't say no to ham. Okay. That's too bad. That's too bad, isn't it? That is a shame. That is a shame. Yeah, can't um, say no to it. You're you're a victim, letting yourself be victimized. Um, but yeah, I understand. You know. Um, I don't. You know, I used to understand, but I I I kind of don't now. It's it's um. Yeah, I just I do. don't. I I think that if you if you if you if you understand and you're making a decision to eat unhealthy, then there's there's another issue. I I, I don't think that makes any sense. Okay. I don't see how anybody could understand the health consequences of eating pig and eating pigs and still continue to do it. I don't understand that. I don't care how good it tastes. Yeah. We see it, it doesn't even taste good to me anymore. Not, you know, I just, I don't even like the smell of it. Um, but, uh, you know, obviously my husband eats meat and my son does here and there, but he's not really a great meat eater. Um, Deborah Barlow would like me to let you know that she went and got her permit and oh, she is now driving again. She's so happy. Good for um, her. So Rita wants to know about the air fryer. I think in the UK, air fryers are called halogen ovens. Is it like really? a halogen lamp with a fan that swirls the heat around? That's interesting. Ours, uh, All the ones that I've seen here are called air fryers, but I did want to mention that that's how I've been cooking my tofu that's on the menu this week. Yeah. And if you put that tofu in at 400 degrees, now you want to cube it up, 400 degrees for about 14 minutes. I increased the time to about 14 minutes. It's amazing. amazing. Oh, is it amazing? <laughs> it is amazing. You just turn the, you turn the, and they just, they, they tumble out and you sprinkle your, a, a little bit of, of, um, you know, garlic or whatever seasoning on it and just eat them. They're, they're incredible. It means that, they have a unique taste, but they are really good. You could eat them without putting flavoring on them, but I like putting a little grilling powder on them. They are really good. You can also wrap them uh, in a uh, a whole wheat, um, like a spinach uh, tortilla thing. You can do that. Nice. Um, 
just amazing. And you can put your rice in with the uh, uh, with the tofu and, and and do a little wrap. Oh, is it good? Yeah, now, I'm right. just telling you, the air fryer, it's the best thing that I've done in the air fryer yet has been this tofu. So I was looking for ways and reasons to you. And now the, the DW is like, well, that uh, that air fryer is really working out for you now, isn't it? I said, well, it took me some time to find some things I really liked cooking in it, but yeah. now I've got them. So. Yeah, that's just so fantastic. It's, yeah, it's staying okay. on the counter. Yeah. It is staying on the counter. Now, it doesn't get put back <laughs> in, the, tofu, in the pantry. Tofu. It is staying on the counter. <laughs> You know, and what's nice is once it cools down, you just wipe it out with a, with a paper towel, and and it just wipes clean. Yeah, that's it. It's it like no nonsense. Clean. It's a- yeah, excellent. You, you don't even have to get it wet. You just wipe it out, and then <laughs> sprinkle the you know sprinkle the little uh, crumbs whatever into the trash can and wipe it down, and you're yeah, done. It's excellent. ready to go. I'm gonna try. I think I think that's I think I think a halogen oven is the same as an air fryer. I, I think it, you just call it something different. Sandy, this is really funny. Um, Sandy's husband has not cut out meat, but obviously she's in charge of the kitchen and probably the cooking here by the, at the uh, shopping. She says, I've given him smaller portions and more veg and fruit, and he's gone from 18 stone to 16 stone 10. So that is 14, 15, 6. He's lost 16 pounds in weight. He says, I don't know how that happened. And she's laughing. She's like, I do, because he's like he's putting more plants into his diet. So that's quite interesting for those of you who are keen to to lose weight who haven't uh, haven't gone full full in yet. Um, so that's that's fantastic. Um, what else have I got? I've got loads of comments. Uh, I'm lucky I can make a peanut dipping sauce. We have peanut butter made here with only one ingredient in it. If in a hurry. That's excellent. Peanut in uh, over salad. Peanuts uh, when you make, mix that in with. Uh, I'm going to do some dressings for you, but there are some in uh, forks over knives. I know one of you's already mentioned that. Um, so, you know, avocado. If you add avocado, if you like creamy dressings, I know some of you don't like avocados, and that is just a crying shame. But um, if you add some avocado into to your dressing. It makes it creamy, um, you know, so that's really nice if you, if you like kind of, you know, if you miss mayonnaise. Um, although there's there are lots of um, uh, vegan mayonnaises now um, made, from co- made from coconut. Obviously, these are processed, but, you know, every now and then, whatever, if, if that's what you're um, missing, um, you can certainly do that. There's a couple out of California. Their name is Bruce and Mindy, we've met them, uh, they travel the country in an RV that's painted up with giant fruits and vegetables, like giant avocados on the side, oh, wow. and they're a non-profit, and they teach, pe- they teach a course called One Day to Wellness, and it's really fascinating what they do, wow. but they have a website called bruceandmindy.com, bruceandmindy.com, and they have got some amazing recipes they're not super popular as far as like the numbers of p- views and things like that, but they don't really push the, the videos. But they've got some fantastic recipes for dressings and also ways to prepare things like how to, how to make uh, baked tomatoes and, and really interesting things. A lot of their recipes they've come up with on their own, so they're, they're really uh, innovators. So if you ever want to check out bruceandmindy.com, you can get most of their stuff online free. And if you want to make a donation, you can, but they're nonprofit. So um, look at them also for uh, dressings. But also, Sue, if you've got great re- – re- I'm, not, I'm not trying to say Sue doesn't have wonderful recipes too, but I'm just saying if you're looking mm-hmm. for more sources besides Forks Over Knives and some of these others that are pretty well known, there are some smaller groups out there that are really doing tremendous work, and bruceandmindy.com, I would say, are uh, one of them. So – so I uh, strongly recommend them, and, it's not, and their website is just like it sounds, and I'm not getting paid to mention them. No, I've got them here. I've got them up. I, I'll put that link in the in the description afterwards. Um, t- uh, tomato sam- sandwiches are good. Um, oh, you yeah, better believe it. Wrap them in lettuce. In fact, uh, when I was um, uh, FaceTiming Debs the other day, or maybe talked to her, they, they were having sandwiches maybe just rolled in lettuce leaves and it gets the bread out completely although we do have bread obviously in our recipe 
um, you know, this this week. If there's anyone I've missed saying hi to, I think Mary Beth's come on. Um, Elizabeth has just shared a tofu mayonnaise recipe. Oh, is that how they make it? Um, that's amazing. Very hard for me to go vegan fully. I know, but I've got to eat what he eats the majority of the time. Okay, that's Jackie talking about um, uh, that she eats. You know, Wink and I, I don't know, you, there are things you could cut out or just not have on your plate um, if your husband's a meat eater. Um, Jackie, just, just putting it out there. Hi, Francis. How are you doing, babes? Haven't seen you for a bit. It's lovely to see you. Uh, they're all going on about how much they love mushrooms which is excellent. I'll um, be eating some mushrooms tonight myself. Yeah. Big package ready to go. Woo, woo. I need to go and get some more mushrooms. Actually, I bought a uh, giant yeah, look, stash. Can of I them. give you, go on. I was going to say, if you want, I can give you some, if it, most of, apparently we've got a lot of ladies, um, on your side and, and probably yeah, yeah. some on, on my side over here too. If you want the man's perspective on how to feed us, you know, if I'm happy to help. Look, here's what men want. They want it hot and they want it ready. They don't want to like, we don't like to wait. We want to eat. If you make something that tastes good, is satisfying and filling, and it's hot and it's, and it's ready, we're probably not going to complain that it's plant based, especially if we don't, if you don't announce, oh, you're getting a plant based no meal tonight, this. honey. Look, just make it. Just make a make a little casserole, make a little stir. I'm doing a stir fry tonight. It's going to be fabulous. You know, yeah. uh, is it is it chicken? Yeah, it's it's going to taste like chicken. <laughs> but men aren't generally. We're not that smart. We're not that clever. You know, leave that taste like part maybe a little bit low, but yeah. you can do those soy curls and they taste just like chicken. If you sprinkle the chicken powder on it, it tastes like chicken. You can't really tell. You can't. <laughs> you can do a chicken stir fry, man, and you can serve it up good with some sliced whatever in there and some veggies and man, it, that was delicious, baby. That was good, you know, yeah. and if they say, well, there's no meat in here. So, yeah, but you won't notice it because it tastes just like meat. Now, gobble it up. Yeah. Look, it if is, you yeah. Continue, that's a very if, good if, point. We're not going to – men are not going to continue. They're not going to storm out of the house or, and, and order pizza or something. I mean, look, they're, they're, what they want is, is a hot dinner, and in their and minds, so. that means meat. But if you begin to introduce more healthier foods – It'll just happen, mm. and yeah, you can if you come up with really good dishes and follow these recipes, you're going to win them over mm. because they're going to they're they're going to want good food. They just want good food. We we want to eat. We like to eat, and and if you <laughs> feed them the right stuff, you're going to keep them alive longer. They're you're not going to be taking them to the doctor so many times when they get older because they're not going to need to see the cardiologist and the nephrologist and the other ologist, whatever ologist that you know that they're going to need to see. You know, eating healthy is going to reduce the risk of all these problems, you know. So, yeah. treat them, you know, treat treat your husband like, like uh, an expensive racehorse, right? If you had a racehorse at the track, you wouldn't go down there with a bag from Jack in the Box and feed it to your racehorse. Yeah. You would make sure they got the best food and medicines and, and care. Yeah. Treat your husband just the same way. You wouldn't want to feed your husband that kind of stuff. Get your husband the right kind of food, food that's going to make him healthy, make him feel better, make him happier, make his vitamin D level go up, make him make him a healthier person for you. Do it for yourself. But he doesn't have to know, and that's just it. Mm. As long as it's hot and tasty, we won't care. Yeah. Yeah, I think I promise you. But I mean that that effect has really happened on Wink. I'll go look. You can either cook, you know, I don't mind if you want, you can, I'll cook enough so that you can have what I'm having tonight. Or if you want, you can cook and you'll go, that's lovely, sweet pea. If you're going to make that's really, and then he's really grateful I'm going to cook for him. And everything I make, he enjoys. Right. 
And there you go. He was the vegetarians, you know, have a, a voluntary eating disorder. You know, when I right. first said, I think I'm going to go vegan. Oh, my goodness me. Uh, you should have seen his face. I think he just thought our marriage was over. Like, oh, we'll never be able to and so, eat again. And then, and then we'll he built a wall, right? You know, he was just like... It, it, we put up this psychological wall that doesn't have to be there. Don't yeah. don't tell them you're doing it. Just do it. Yeah. Just make healthy food. Yeah. He, What's I mean, this? He's this all, is really good. All for it. He's all for it. And he yeah. he eats a lot of healthier things now. He's you know he's not eating processed peanut butter anymore, which he has every morning for breakfast, and he's had that for like oh about forty five years. He has the same breakfast every morning without fail, and he likes my one ingredient peanut butter. Just to, he said, oh, "That's really good." No, I'm I'm happy to have that, and I'm just like, "Oh, I, I, you could have knocked me over with a feather," because I, he's such so set in his ways, you know. He's particularly no, no, no. That's I don't care if it's the worst one. That's blah, 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 you know. He's like kind of like that with it, and you know he's okay now. I know Chrissy's saying, he said, he said, she said, not my husband. He wants steak and potatoes every damn night, and that's that's such a shame, sweetheart. But you know, you you can't. You can't reproduce a steak in, in a whole food plant-based way, but you can reproduce loads of other delicious meals that are really heart, hearty and, and filling, you know, chew, you know, stews and chilies and I would just tell her don't do it. Chrissy, don't do it. Just, you know, once, once a week, you're, you're, you're not going to have a steak. You're, yeah. I'm making something. I'm, you're, I'm going to make a treat. Yeah. Um, you know, Wednesday's going to be my, I'm cooking and you're going to eat what I make you and you're going to like it or else. <laughs> it's funny what they're all saying about their husbands. Rita says, my husband is more like a nag. Deborah says, Jim buys his own garbage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Deborah saying she had to buy smaller underwear. Slam dunk girl. Yay, well done. You. She's just on fire this girl she is on fire i know she is um sandy also doesn't buy the processed stuff no crisp biscuits sweets etc um only if it's not there um you can't eat it that's a, that's you know that's really good just stop buying it every now and then i go right i'm gonna buy some vegan biscuits and do you know what happens that night i eat the whole packet in a one like an idiot so i just don't buy them now i just go You'll only eat the whole packet tonight if you buy those two. You won't just have one occasionally or one if you're just like... Rah, rah, rah. So I just don't buy them anymore. I, I've learnt my own hard lesson there. Um, I, had to, I had to learn that lesson over many, many repeated failures, I have to say. That lesson didn't go in very quickly. But, I'm know. very excited. The DW is out and about. She just asked me if she needed to pick up anything for me, and I said, I'm out of I'm out of instant yeast, and I need some almond flour. So she'll be getting back, and I'll be baking oh, up some bread tonight. I'm going to have my own bread with Studio Wonder Woman. all the other wonderful stuff on the, on the list tonight. Yum. <laughs> yes. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. I've got to make some more bread for tonight. Um, well, that reminded me. I think we're out of maple syrup. Uh, yeah, that's it. I can't make an... Uh, yeah, I'll have to use a different... I've got date syrup. That works just as well. You know, um, I was going to ask you what that was. Was it's date syrup? I I, yeah. I did not see that uh, at our grocery store. I wonder where I have to find that. Uh, but um, I'm going to look around and see. I'd love to try that. And and um, Dr. McClendon at my office, he had this uh, a bottle of this sweetener that he... It was a powdery stuff that he'd gotten from overseas somewhere, and I can't remember what it was, but uh, he said it was like 250 times sweeter than sugar, but it was completely natural. Very interesting. Well, and is, I, it, and I, is it stevia? I didn't, no, I said, is that stevia? He said, no, no, it was uh, something else. Hmm. Well, if anyone knows what that is, stick it up here. Yeah, I can't um, remember. Uh, na- I should look up natural sweeteners, um, but it was it was uh, curious to me. But uh, ja- Jackie, Jackie's uh, fairly immobile, and her husband does the shopping and stuff. I think if you maybe say you want to try and kind of ease some of your pain. I mean, you 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 know what the results are on here. I mean, they're, they're just like they're all over the show. You know, just try and maybe you could get out of some pain if you ate some different food. Could he maybe get you some salad stuff and some more fresh fruit and veg instead? Um, you know, and just, you know, I, I know you can't stand to cook, um, so he does most of the cooking. 
But just ask him if he'll do that for you. I know he's an absolute uh, sweetheart and he'd do anything for you. Just ask the question and just see if he can buy some more fruits and veggies for you, darling. Um, what's Chrissy saying? Yes, Robin got it. It, it was monk fruit sweetener. That's what it was. Yes. The monk famous fruit. Robin Snoopy, always our statistician, technical advisor, He's and all-purpose information finder. You are incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um, okay, we've got Alexa BD. She says she's ready for some afternoon delight. Afternoon delight. That reminds me of that old song. Afternoon delight. That one. Started yeah. out this morning feeling so uptight. Looking forward to a little afternoon delight. Rubbing sticks and stones together makes the sparks ignite. And the thought of loving you is getting so exciting. Sky rockets in it. flight. Uh, yeah. Afternoon delight. Bing. See, I don't know any words to anything. I'm rubbish, but I, yeah. I, I could hear the song. Chrissy's saying, I literally just spent $320 on groceries and my husband aimlessly stares in the fridge pantry and has the audacity to say, there's nothing to there's eat. There's nothing to eat. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Wink says that. He goes, you spent all this money in the shop and it's like, no food for me in there. And it's just like, well, it's all edible. I don't want any of that stuff. I, uh, I think a lot of it's got to do with laziness. And I think the great thing about Wink is that he can be very lazy when it comes to eating. And we did spend a lot of time going, oh, let's just get fish and shit. Oh, let's just get a Chinese. Oh, let's just go to the motorway service station and just get something there. Let's just get this. And, oh, I don't know. Sometimes we would be so lazy. We would, luckily, this was healthy. We'd, we'd have one of my protein shakes to suffer because he couldn't be bothered to cook. So... In those instances, he can always have what I'm preparing. So, you know, that's, that's just it. And that proves my theory about men. If the meal is good, it's hot and it's ready, we will eat it. Yeah. And, and, we'll and, eat it. Yeah. And, and, and enjoy so, it as well. So, whoever's uh, well. husband was standing in the pantry saying there's nothing to eat was probably hungry. Had there been something ready to eat, he probably would have just eaten that. I'm yeah. guessing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If there, were, if there was something there. And that's yeah. what happens when I try to make things to put into the freezer. Because, well, we, we'll just have that chilli again. Well, we'll just have that chilli again. Well, let's just have that chilli again. How many portions of chilli? Well, well, we could have that chilli. You know, maybe we could have it with a jacket potato. Maybe, you know, on it goes. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, Elizabeth is really looking forward to cooking up a storm after she goes uh, to the shops. Um, da, 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 cornbread. Ada made uh, some potatoes with um, chicken flavored um, vegan meat uh, with vegetable and cornbread. Um, so excellent. That's good. She's, she's, you're, you must be about five weeks in now, Ada, aren't you? You must let so us know a, how you're feeling. That's kind of a transition. Um, you know, if it was, if it's, Okay, so there's two ways of looking at that. That could be like soy curls or some kind of soy pride, or it could actually be a processed vegan, mm. which is better than meat. I mean, it would be a good transitional item. I wouldn't want to continue to eat that, you know, indefinitely, but to help kind of make that transition into a whole food plant-based diet, it's probably a really good thing. Um, but what I have found is a lot of the stuff that they're passing off as imitation meat is highly, highly processed mm -hmm. and may not be as healthy as it should be. Yeah. So probably better just to get used to eating whole foods, you know, fruits and vegetables and, um, with a few little exceptions here and there, um, maybe, um, you know, that would be okay, but. I wouldn't make regular dishes out of imit like like uh, the DW just got Abby some imitation hot dogs. I mean, yeah. they're soy based, but they're really processed. But Abby's really trying to be a vegan. Yeah. You know, she watched another uh, yeah, another uh, video and she said, "I'm really gonna, you know, I'm not gonna eat any more meat, Dad." So, you know, she just doesn't want to do it. She's just yeah. she's seen she just knows too much now. She's been yeah. around it too long, and she sees, um, you know, me not eating it, and she knows she can do it. Yeah, exactly. And I, I think there's no harm in transitioning. And I think for me. I'm going to use some of those meats because it means I can make some homemade meals 
that are in the freezer that I can eat as well. Because what I end up doing is I end up making chili con carne and like ragu and a, and a curry and you know there's all this food and I've like cooked up a storm and there's nothing I can eat because there's meat in it so I want yeah. to make a vegan food that there you go. everybody enjoys and then I there can also go. have it as well you know sometimes you haven't been to the grocery shop and sometimes you don't have any fresh veg in although I'm having to say all the fruit and veg in my amazing new fridge freezer yeah. is still as fresh as the day I bought it. It's just like, I think the fridge we had never worked. It's just like, I just cannot believe it's all still, even the cut um, uh, herbs. I, I literally, it's just like, honestly, it's just like, it's just so wonderful. Um Big fat mushrooms, my meat. Yep, Sandy. Big fat mushrooms are very meaty and they're very fulling. Those, those portobello uh, mushrooms, we have some like as big as my face. And oh, I they're think, huge. Oh, that's a great they... one. Or I can't even eat the whole of it. You're just like. Just Boy, the only drawback with those burger. big portobello, the only drawback is they can be pricey. Really? They can be more expensive. They can be more expensive than meat in some cases. Really? I've seen the, the, yeah, the really fresh ones. You betcha. Gosh, I didn't know that. I just buy them because I, I don't. I just like yeah. I just at least buy, at least the ones. I mean, I you them. may get they may be cheaper there. I don't know, but but the ones that I've seen are are, are fairly. In fact, mm. our mushroom prices. I've always been surprised at how expensive mushrooms are here. Yeah, well, they are actually, and that they, they, they whack a huge price on for those chestnut mushrooms, the ones that are exactly the same as white mushrooms, only they've chestnut colored they're like way mm -hmm. more expensive way more expensive um so jackie was saying um yeah she's she's basically her husband is she asked him to buy some different fruits and veg um but if he's not there to cook they um she has microwave meals why don't you eat raw stuff why don't you have a salad and some kind of raw veggies on on the when you don't want to cook because that's the least thing all you do right. is just bite into them or cut them in half and, you know, just eat tomatoes and eat avocados and eat lettuce and just, you know, there's no cooking there and it's much better than a microwave meal. Um, and with the menu that we provided, only only one of the meals really needs to be cooked. The yeah. other two are, are not cooked. It's either blend or just crunch, chop and eat. Mm, that's so right. You're only cooking once a day yeah. uh, and even that's not really that difficult. Yeah. You could you could sit with you could get the stuff and you could sit with that on your lap and you could chop it up chop up a storm stick it in a container in your fridge and then you can just go and dip into it. Um, Ada is asking what she can use instead of eggs in the cornbread. You flaxseed, okay? Flaxseed makes an egg. So one tablespoon of flaxseed, two tablespoons of cold water. Put it in a cup, leave it for five minutes. It will be the same consistency as egg white. So for every tablespoon of flaxseed, it equals one egg in cooking. So, Ooh, that's so what I could make need. an egg sandwich like that, couldn't I? Mm, I don't know how that would go, actually. I suppose so. I suppose you I could might, fry I might it, need actually. to try that. Yeah, let's yeah, I try that. Fry them up. <laughs> I wonder if you could fry those up like an egg. <laughs> but you know those um, like protein, you know those mug in a cup... A, cake in a mug that you put in the microwave for a minute that you see them all over the internet and you can make them with protein powders as well if any of you are having protein shakes and stuff like that the mm -hmm. flaxseed egg works in that it comes out like a muffin um da, 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 da. <laughs> Matt, so many yeah oh Madge is just luring me into costco I just know that I'm just going to be reborn when I get into Costco. Madge, we must go there together. You must you must give me a tour of Costco and we'll do a video. Raw veg with homemade hummus. That's fantastic. Um, and you can make a raw hummus as well. Um, you know, if you're not wanting the chickpeas, some of you don't like chickpeas. Um, you can you substitute zucchini, but you peel it first unless you want literally luminous green hummus um but that's really good you use the tahini and the yeah it's, it's really really good um I, I need to do a recipe um, for some of these things because we're getting around to that season soon uh, 
Uh, my dad would make egg sandwiches with ketchup. Well, well, isn't hummus, isn't that, or hummus, isn't that just chickpeas? Yeah, it's chickpeas. It's, um, oh, I've just said it now. I've forgotten it. The one made out of sesame seeds, tahini. It's tahini, uh, uh, chickpeas, garlic, lemon juice. Mm, okay. And I think there's oil in it. It might be oil in it. I don't know. But you can sub because the the raw vegans won't eat chickpeas because you can't eat them raw. So you 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 use zucchini for that mm -hmm. um, um, courgette. But you peel, if I made the first time I made it, I left the skin on because I eat the skin off everything. So um, and it was really really bright green, like like it looked like you know radioactive. Um, so <laughs> you wouldn't believe how pale the skin makes it you'd think it would have been dark green but no so if you peel them it's it's the same color as um as hummus and then you can add all sorts of things yakalena that's horrible what's what's horrible and you can have a one you want oh, western size i loved costco linda loves costco um it's too bitter on your tongue you can change the flavor of hummus um you know change the the, the you know what about guacamole guacamole is absolutely fantastic Really easy to make. Tomatoes, avocados, bit of chili, but if you don't like chili, don't have that in it. You know, it's it's really really easy. Bit of garlic. Um, I can wear a special tour uniform. Yeah, and a sign. Perfect, Madge. Let's make it happen. <laughs> uh, had the flax seeds, and she's really, and she loves really my. Right, Beverly's eighty-year-old mum has heard of flaxseed. That's that flaxseed. That's brilliant. The word is getting out there. Madge has pr pr prompted me on the tahini. What have we got? Well, flaxseed. Flaxseed's been around for a long time as a recommendation for an omega three uh, instead of mm. fish oil for people that have uh, fish allergies and and mm. uh, things like that. We've been we've been recommending the flaxseed for the longest time and then years ago when we discovered that mercury was an issue in some fish oil products uh we started telling people that you know that they could either get fish oil or flaxseed yeah. and of course now we know if they just cut the meat out in in the first place they don't need to do something to protect themselves from it right it's that ratio of omega 6s and 3s yeah. so but yeah flaxseed is uh is a very healthy product um and it's very very nutritious and and has high calorie content so and flaxseed, we'll probably be putting it on menus for a long time to come. Yeah. And it's in the bread as well, um, the, the mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Gilmore's bread recipe that I put up on my site. And it's mm -hmm. it's just really nice. I, I often throw like a handful of flaxseed into smoothies that I make, especially if I'm recreating something like rhubarb crumble or... Um, oh, I can't remember, Bakewell tart. I did a Bakewell tart one. Um, because it gives it that crumble effect, the kind of bready, yeah. cakiness to it. And then when you add your nuts in and, you know, your various fruits and stuff into it, it make, it, 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 it gives it that bready sort of really full, filling kind of, it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's very satisfying to eat. And also, if you're making a smoothie and it's, and you're on the go, you can take the big cup with you in the car. You can be, well, uh, I don't think you're supposed to eat while you're driving, so, you know, don't do this at home. Um, so, you know, on the go, take it into work or whatever. It means you're not just drinking a liquid breakfast, which sometimes, especially if you're new at this game, you can feel like you kind of want to chew something, and that makes you think about things that you chew, like bread and all those kind of, you know, <laughs> things that you put in your mouth and crunch, biscuits and all. And I just don't want to, well, I'll just have some crisps because I don't really want to crunch something. If you've got flaxseed in there, you, you can't just, well, you can just swallow it. it but, you know, uh, you know, my husband would just swallow a steak whole. Oh, it all goes down like dog fashion. Um, but it gives you something to bite, you know, when you're, you know, like cereal does. You drink the liquid and then you're left crunching the cereal until you take your next, um, in this case, with a smoothie swig of it. So flaxseed is an excellent thing. You can also make eggs with chia seeds. That makes a very gelatinous kind yeah. of um it's it very very kind of but isn't that like three to one instead of two to one i think it's three to one with chia seeds i think it is and you let that stand for about five minutes as well 
But there are other things you can make a, an egg with. Uh, but if you Google, how do I make a vegan egg? There's it, there's more than one thing, but most of you will have flaxseed now because it will be it will be it's in the bread recipe. Well, not most of you, but a lot of you will have invested in that. And it's as, as we've just said, it's great for the omega threes. It's great in smoothies. It's great in the bread recipe. It's great to throw into stir fries and stuff as well. You know, because you're getting that grainy granular thing when you're throwing in your chia seeds and you're throwing in your quinoa, you know, some some flax seed. And it's a, a beautiful, nutty, crunchy kind of flavor. And, you know, a lot of us have been used to eating foods like that. And it's a healthy, healthy alternative. You know, it's it's a it's a really great okay. thing to have in your cupboard. So what I just read was that it's three to one for flaxseed to make an egg and that you want to grind the flaxseed into a meal first. Yeah, so. I, mine is mine is a ground one that I buy. It's not whole flaxseed. It's it's all it's it's called yeah. milled flaxseed. Okay. Um, oh, and that's I interesting. I think that's what I. Yeah, one I think that's two, different. Uh, I think you can. One. I think you can have it like cracked and where it's like they're broken up, but yeah. they're not like flour. I think there's an intermediate. Uh, mine's intermediate. State. Yeah, it's kind of slightly milled. You know, it's a little. Yeah, it's like that. Um, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. I use two to one, but I don't do a lot of baking. Um, uh, so um, that's interesting. I, some recipes I've seen, it says two to three tablespoons. So I guess, you know, yeah, yeah. So so it's roughly that, everyone. Uh, so it's the same with the chia seed and the flax seed. It's three to one. Um, so you can actually... Um, make make egg substitutes either way but i would think now there's what i'm reading here is they're not recommending necessarily that you grind up the chia but the chia seeds are much smaller anyway i don't know i think either one i would want to kind of grind them up a little bit especially yeah. if i was going to try to do like a fried egg that would be interesting to try yeah i think well it would be interesting actually because i make a quinoa flatbread which doesn't really taste like quinoa it's completely different and i reckon mm -hmm. you could probably make a flatbread with flaxseed as well it's I'm sorry, certainly did you, did you just say i reckon did, did you just did you just say i reckon i reckon yeah i reckon that that doesn't sound like something that i would expect to hear from somebody you know in the uk do, do you all say i, I reckon and reckon so yeah, and i reckon do you really i reckon R E C K O N, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Are you sure That's... you're not putting us on? No, no, no. I, I didn't even know. Is, is that a special American phrase then? Well, well it's from reckoning, know, it, isn't it? When you make a reckoning. I, re I re reckon. Reckon. Reconcile. It it's comes from reconcile. Southern, it, it's more of a southern word, I think. I reckon. That kind of reckon. thing. I reckon. I reckon. Don't make no never mind of me. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> no, it's um, it's yeah. We do use reckon. All right. Yeah. I believe you. I believe you. Totally, totally, totally. I think it's it's very interesting. I think um, Jackie's getting a lot of uh, yeah. Jackie, she's she's Scottish. She's from Scotland, and uh, they use the word reckon as well up there. So she's yeah. edifying that I'm not just making. We absolutely do, Doctor G. She's put it in capitals All right. now. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> no, it's, yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Um, don't, Jackie, don't feel like you're letting yourself down. Just make make some of those changes, sweetheart. Okay, it's all a journey, and you know my my journey, you know, of being you know pretty much quite a good vegan. I was kind of went off piece before because I was trying to get my husband to to be trying to get Wink to be more healthy, and then my whole FOMO queen the fear of missing out queen in me which i'm it's not really a very it might be quite funny but it's not actually very beneficial to me i couldn't not try all the meat in texas so like there the vegan comes over to stay with uh, dr gilmore and i ate meat at just about every outing because i just wanted to try it. it's just like sure right i've had the texas rib and the texas barbecue i didn't have the steak actually but no. You know, and you were really good about it because you didn't kind of go, oh, I thought you were a vegan, so you were just like, no, no, you should do, you should, you were, you were brilliant, actually. 
You didn't make me well, feel like I was like a turncoat. Um, I wanted you to enjoy the experience. I did, and I did. Yeah. I, I did enjoy the experience, and that's pretty much apart from accidentally eating some amazing, amazing Dr. Utger pizzas, which I just thought was just the most amazing pizza, only to realize that I had mozzarella cheese on it. I thought it was vegan. <laughs> so I had two of those accidentally. That was being an accidental non accidental dairy that was We're totally yeah um, Acc we, we all make mistakes yeah, so yeah, that's exactly. why I tell people I haven't purposefully eaten any animal products in the last year that doesn't mean some haven't accidentally gotten in you know you just don't know you, yeah. you eat some okay these green beans taste really good was there vegetable oil on them or was there some butter in there I mean you sometimes yeah. you wonder yeah. You know, especially when you get food delivered and, and we get lots of catered stuff and it just gets dropped off and there's nobody to ask. And, uh, and so I asked some of the other staff, I'll say, was, was there butter? And they'll say, no, nope, I didn't taste any butter. But they're so used to it having butter, maybe they don't know. Mm -hmm. So I take a bite and like, I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, so, but, you know, an accidental thing is, you know. Yeah. I don't know how many Not accidental things. Obviously, you haven't right. got the meat enzymes in your gut anymore, which is the kind of thing right. what we're oh. all what we're all aiming for. Because right. then you don't crave those foods. There's nothing in well, your I gut going. Oh, I need this. I need this. They're all dead and gone. So I don't know how many how many accidental um, things would make those enzymes kind of form again. Oh, I think I'd have to go back on a on a you know a meat diet again, yeah. probably for six to eight weeks to to see you know a return of the old gut flora. I, I don't think you could accidentally eat one thing and then and then expect that you would lose the benefits of being yeah. you know on a vegan diet. Yeah. I, I just don't think that would happen. So I think if anyone has any slip ups or something like that, the whole Doctor yeah. Utger spinach based pizza, and I really that the the, the the, the um, what's it, uh, beetroot um, pizza. It just looks, so I bought one of those as well, and I literally had it out of the packet, and I was just about to cook it for myself, and I was like, is that ham on that? And it was, it was, <laughs> oh, and geez, I was just like, well, do you fancy this pizza? And he, oh, yes, darling, thank you. And, you know, so he eats those pizzas now rather than the rubbish ones, so at least the base is made out of beetroots. And not wheat and all that, and or or, or or spinach. And yes, there is a cauliflower based one as well. Um, so there's lots, you know, the vegan wagon, you can never fall off. If you eat non vegan, you're still beside it. Ada, you're right, sweetheart, you're right. We run, sometimes we run beside our wagon, don't we, playing catch up? Um, but that's okay. I'm really glad, Jackie, that you're trying your best. And I know you are. And I know you're getting lots of support from that. But, you know, I said that because just power to your elbow, girl. That's all. One meal at a time or one day at a time, we can do it. Seeker, you're absolutely right. One meal at a time, we can do it. You know, absolutely. One uh, grape, one raisin, one cauliflower chlorette. One plum, one sliced tomato, one chopped bell pepper, one carrot, well, one package of white mushrooms at a time. We shall all prevail. We shall all prevail. This is a good place to stop. I think that yeah. uh, I think I we've agree. done it, and I think the DW is back, and I'm ready to go bake some bread because bake. I'm fasting tomorrow, so I want to make sure I get some delicious hot bread in me nom, 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 nom. and some yes. mushrooms and a little bit. Uh, I've got uh, a third of a package of tofu to get into the air fryer, and that is going to be mm, good. Nom, 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 nom. Excellent, excellent. That is a good place to stop. I'm glad you're upping your fruits and veg, Jackie. It's going to do you the world of good. And uh, Chrissy already mentioned she has a lot of the things that you have uh, and, and how her results are just phenomenal. So Beautiful. thank you all for joining us. Um, let us Fine. know how you get on. Um, yeah, through the, through the week. And we will see you on Thursday at 8.30. Uh, no, midnight UK time. Um, and, Six um, o'clock Texas time, seven o'clock New York time. 
Yeah. Six o'clock Chicago time. Four o'clock Los Angeles time. Five o'clock Denver time. Well done. Two o'clock Juno time. That's it. And noon Hawaii time. You're I'm super, not sure about that last one. I threw that out you're there. You're just ma- making it up. There's, I, I know. I, I was. One. I tried to get I'm my probably head close. around I'm that probably today. Oh, uh, <laughs> I got them all back to front. No, no, uh, all of you, I'm going to go and grab some time with my husband now before he goes to bed early because he's got work in the morning. Obviously, I'll be staying up all night even though I've got work in the morning. That's just me. Don't try that at home either. All right, then, lots of love. Right, bye-bye, Thanks everyone. Thanks for joining. See you lovely, Thursday. lovely. Bye. New menu Thursday. New menu Thursday. So make the most of this one, okay? Cheers. Bye.